The ocean is the most mysterious place on Earth, and also the place that awakens the most primal fear inside each of us, because there the darkness not only devours the light, but also hides creatures our imagination hasn't even named yet. Imagine this. One day you wander into the Cretaceous period. Behind you, a T-Rex is charging, roaring. You think jumping into the water might be safer. My advice, but no matter how desperate you are, don't do it. Because you're only running from a small nightmare, straight into one far bigger. The ocean back then was nothing like what we know today. An endless world where violent waves hit giant mouths. Rows of teeth longer than the knife you use in your kitchen, and cold eyes watching prey from the shadows. When talking about the Cretaceous period, most people immediately think of T-Rex, the king of the land, the most infamous predator on the planet. But that's only half the story. Because beneath the dark water, deeper than anywhere light could reach, existed another king, a true ruler of the ancient seas, a creature that humans have only truly understood in the past few decades, a predatory machine more than 15 meters long, weighing over 30 tons. The Mosasaurus. The scariest thing about it isn't its size, not its speed, not even its dagger-like teeth. It's how it hunts, swift, precise, and absolutely merciless. But what is the Mosasaurus? Where did it come from? Why did it become the ultimate ruler of the Cretaceous Ocean? And how did a small land-dwelling lizard evolve into the greatest monster the sea has ever produced? Join me as we begin the journey to uncover the forgotten king of the Age of Dinosaurs. The ruler the world once forgot, but who now lives again in our imagination. To understand why the Mosasaurus could dominate the ocean, we must begin with its body. A masterpiece of evolution, refined over tens of millions of years to create a perfect hunting machine. In the ancient world where giant creatures ruled every corner, only the strongest and most adaptable survived. The Mosasaurus is the symbol of that adaptation. Its origin surprises many. Though often mistaken as a relative of sharks or other marine reptiles, the Mosasaurus actually belongs to the family Mosasauridae within the Squamata group. The same evolutionary branch as today's lizards and snakes. This means the ancestors of Mosasaurus did not live in the water. They were land-dwelling or shoreline lizards that began diving into the water to hunt. Over time, they developed better swimming abilities, more flexible bodies, larger lungs. And from those evolutionary steps, a new ocean empire was born. By the late Cretaceous, the Mosasaurus had become one of the largest marine reptiles to ever exist. An adult could reach between 12 and 17 meters long equivalent to a double-decker bus. Some fossil specimens suggest lengths exceeding 18 meters. Its estimated weight was over 30 tons, heavier than a juvenile humpback whale. Compared to a T-Rex, a T-Rex was 12 to 13 meters long, weighing 8 to 10 tons. The Mosasaurus surpassed it in both size and mass. The body of the Mosasaurus was absolute optimization for underwater hunting. A long, sturdy skull generating incredible bite force. A short, powerful neck to stabilize attacks. A long, slim body covered in thick, protective scales. Strong, subcutaneous muscles allowing sudden bursts of speed. Most notably, its tail had a two-lobed structure like a shark's. A natural jet engine that let it accelerate instantly. Its four limbs evolved into paddles. Not for main propulsion, but for steering balancing and performing sudden upward attacks, a tactic that made many ancient sharks its victims. The Mosasaurus had extremely large lungs, letting it dive for dozens of minutes before resurfacing. A vital advantage in a world where prey could vanish in seconds. The Mosasaurus wasn't just a swimming lizard. It was the final product of millions of years of evolution. Proof that the ocean has always produced the planet's most powerful predators. If its massive size and flexible body helped the Mosasaurus dominate physically, its natural weapons were what made it one of the most terrifying predators ever to exist. Every part of the Mosasaurus body had a role, a purpose, and together they formed an almost perfect hunting script where prey had only two options. 
escape in the first few seconds, or disappear forever into its bloody jaws. The first and most frightening weapon of the Mosasaurus was its jaws. Unlike any other marine reptile, the Mosasaurus possessed an expandable jaw structure similar to snakes, a rare evolutionary trait but extremely useful for underwater hunting. Its jaw joints were not stiff like today's crocodiles, but flexible enough to let it open its mouth nearly twice as wide as you might imagine. This allowed it to seize prey larger than its own head. Big fish, giant sea turtles, even long-necked plesiosaurs. Supporting the jaws was a dual-purpose tooth system, sharp and deeply embedded. Each tooth was conical, long, and slightly curved backward to hold prey as it struggled. The tooth surface had blade-like ridges, allowing it to tear flesh and slice through thick tissue. When it struck, the Mosasaurus bite force transferred through its large, strong jawbones, delivering an almost instant kill. Even more terrifying, the Mosasaurus didn't have just one row of teeth. Inside its upper jaw was an extra row growing on the palate bones, a structure very few modern animals still possess. These teeth acted like hooks, locking prey from the inside while the main jaws clamped down from the outside. Every bite trapped prey between two systems working at once. Even hard-shelled ancient turtles struggled to escape once caught. But a predator cannot rely on jaws alone. It needs speed and agility to reach its prey, especially in an ocean where fish and other marine reptiles can move unpredictably. This is where its movement system shined. Its huge, flattened, two-lobed tail generated powerful thrust in seconds. As it accelerated, its long, muscular body rippled, turning it into an underwater arrow. Simulations suggest the Mosasaurus could reach 3540 kilometers h, comparable to a great white shark, despite being many times larger. And more importantly, it could maintain its speed long enough to stay on its target. In a world where attacks lasted only seconds, sudden acceleration meant the difference between eating and starving. Beyond speed, its maneuverability was impressive. Its front and rear limb pairs evolved into broad flippers for smooth steering. When attacking, it used its tail for the final strike, but used the flippers to twist, roll, or attack from below. Angles prey never anticipated. This explains why fossils of many ancient sharks bear bite marks from underneath, a hunting tactic only extremely agile and powerful predators could perform. Yet the Mosasaurus weapons weren't just physical. Its senses were fine-tuned for one purpose, to hunt and kill. Its eyes were large, positioned for wide vision, ideal for the dim ocean depths. Round pupils let it react quickly to changes in light, supporting hunting both day and night. Its eyes could detect the slightest movements from afar, helping it pinpoint prey before attacking. Its ability to sense vibrations in water was also a major advantage. Though it lacked a lateral line system like fish, studies suggest the Mosasaurus sensed pressure changes through its skin and special skull structures. Just one small movement, a flick, a shift in water, and the Mosasaurus could detect and locate prey from far away. This turned the dark ocean into its playground, not its limitation. Its sense of smell was extremely sharp, especially near the surface. Some theories suggest the Mosasaurus could lift its head above water to smell blood or carrion similar to modern sharks. Combining smell and vision let it rush toward food immediately. But the Mosasaurus' deadliest weapon wasn't muscle or teeth. It was how it used all these traits with the ruthlessness of a predator born to rule. The Mosasaurus didn't chase prey endlessly. It ambushed. It waited. It chose the perfect moment. When prey dropped its guard, even for an instant, the Mosasaurus would shoot upward like an arrow. One bite was enough to lock prey in its dual jaws. From there, the end was inevitable. It dragged the prey deeper, shook its head to tear flesh apart, and swallowed it piece by piece like a giant sea serpent. What truly made the Mosasaurus superior was how it behaved, hunted, defended territory, and survived in a world full of other giant monsters. The Cretaceous Ocean was not the peaceful place we imagine. 
It was a constantly changing world, with gloomy deep waters, vast coral reefs, and abyssal valleys where no light could reach. Life was dense. Ancient sharks, long-necked plesiosaurs, giant sea turtles, and even other mosasaurs competed for territory. In such an environment, the Mosasaurus had to hunt relentlessly to fuel a body up to 17 meters long and weighing several dozen tons. This made it an almost continuously active predator. Its ecological role was therefore crucial. It sat at the top of the food chain where no creature could challenge it directly. Everything living in the sea back then, large fish, sharks, sea turtles, even long-necked plesiosaurs, could become its prey. The presence of the Mosasaurus created balance in the ecosystem. By selective hunting, it controlled populations of many other species. By occupying certain waters, it defined territorial structures in the ancient ocean. In other words, wherever the Mosasaurus appeared, order was established. Its hunting behavior has been described in many studies based on fossil evidence and biological comparisons with modern species. The Mosasaurus wasn't a long-distance chaser like today's orcas. It relied on ambush tactics, hiding in deep layers in shadows or near coral reefs waiting for prey to pass. When the moment came, it didn't hesitate. Just one powerful tail strike was enough to launch itself forward with unbelievable speed. In that moment, it became a living missile, shooting toward its target before the prey could even react. This was the perfect survival strategy saving energy while ensuring an almost absolute success rate. However, what astonished paleontologists the most was its tendency for intraspecies aggression. Many Mosasaurus skeletons have been found bearing bite marks matching the size and shape of their own kind. This shows that Mosasaurus did not hesitate to confront one another, even attacking their own species during territorial disputes or competition for food. Being solitary predators or living in small groups, they did not have complex social systems like whales or dolphins. Each Mosasaurus individual was a powerhouse standing on its own fins. When encountering another within what it considered its territory, confrontation was almost unavoidable. This behavior is similar to modern crocodiles. When threatened or when food is scarce, they will not hesitate to eliminate any intruder. Even so, this does not mean Mosasaurus was always alone. Some evidence suggests they may have hunted in pairs or small groups during certain periods, although there is not yet enough solid proof. Evolutionary models show that collaborative behavior in large species could offer advantages. And while not pack animals in the modern sense, Mosasaurus might have cooperated when necessary, especially when hunting large prey or protecting their young. The geographical distribution of Mosasaurus is another remarkable point. Unlike many marine reptiles that lived in warm waters, Mosasaurus fossils have been found across almost every continent. Europe, North America, South America, Africa, the Middle East, and even in coastal Antarctica. This shows they were extremely adaptable to many different marine environments, from warm, shallow coastal waters to cold, deep oceans. This flexibility allowed them to survive and dominate for millions of years, even as sea levels changed continuously. Another mystery lies in how Mosasaurus reproduced. As reptiles, they did not lay eggs on land like sea turtles. Instead, fossil evidence suggests Mosasaurus likely gave birth directly in the water, similar to modern whales. This bound them entirely to the ocean, never needing to return to land like many other reptiles. Newborn Mosasaurus were large and strong enough to swim alongside their mother, a significant advantage in avoiding predators such as sharks or smaller Mosasaurs. Yet no matter how powerful or unmatched, the Mosasaurus could not escape the harsh rule of nature, extinction. Around 66 million years ago, when the Chicxulub asteroid struck Earth, triggering mega tsunamis, global temperature shifts, and ocean acidification, the Mosasaurus could not adapt quickly enough. Despite being apex predators, they still relied on a stable ecosystem. Abundant food sources, suitable water temperatures, and balance among species. When the food chain collapsed, large creatures like Mosasaurus became the first victims. 
not because they were weak, but because a giant organism always requires vast resources to survive. The extinction of Mosasaurus marked the end of an era, but their legacy remains. Modern lizards and snakes carry part of the evolutionary story of Mosasaurus, a story of adaptation, strength, and domination in a world far harsher than the modern ocean. The journey to uncover Mosasaurus is not just a dry scientific tale, but one of the strangest and most debated chapters in paleontological history. When the first tooth of this creature was discovered, no one knew they were touching evidence of a ruler of the ancient seas. From scattered bone fragments to complete skeletons to modern technology reconstructing its body and behavior, the entire process took more than two centuries and opened a whole new chapter on the ancient ocean world. The story began in the late 18th century in a limestone quarry in Maastricht, the Netherlands. Miners discovered a massive skeleton buried deep within soft limestone. When naturalists of the time came to investigate, they could not identify what kind of creature it was. It did not resemble a fish, nor a lizard, and certainly not any legendary dragon of European folklore. Locals called it the Maastricht monster, but scientists knew this was something entirely new. That skeleton was later identified as Mosasaurus hoffmanni, the first Mosasaurus species to be officially described. But the discovery did not unfold peacefully. It coincided with the outbreak of the French Revolution. When French forces entered Maastricht, they recognized the scientific value of the skeleton and decided to confiscate it as war loot. This made the Mosasaurus fossil one of the first paleontological specimens to be transferred through fossil warfare, and also one of the earliest prehistoric artifacts to be preserved in a museum. The name Mosasaurus was taken from the Meuse River, Latin Mosa, near where the skeleton was found. Saurus means lizard, though at the time science had not yet discovered that it was related to modern snakes and lizards. Researchers needed several more decades to realize that Mosasaurus belonged to the Squamata group, meaning it shared an evolutionary branch with lizards and snakes. This discovery shocked the scientific community, as no one expected that a relative of small lizards could evolve into a colossal monster of the ocean. Throughout the 19th and 20th centuries, countless Mosasaurus fossils were found worldwide. North America, Europe, the Middle East, South Africa, and even Antarctica. Each discovery added another piece to the full picture of this creature. Some skeletons revealed details about tail structure, showing they had a shark-like vertical fluke, making Mosasaurus far stronger swimmers than previously thought. Other specimens showed the skin scales, proving they did not have smooth skin like fish, but retained the scaly texture of reptiles. With modern technology, scientists use CT scans, 3D modeling, and bone structure analysis to reconstruct Mosasaurus more accurately than ever. They discovered that the Mosasaurus wide gape was supported by flexible joints similar to those of snakes. They also determined that its swimming motion was driven by tail movement, not by its four limbs. These studies confirm that Mosasaurus was not only huge and powerful, but also highly evolved perfectly designed for underwater predation. Today, more than 40 different Mosasaur species have been identified, each with its own size and shape. Some were small, only three to four meters long, while large species like Mosasaurus hoffmanni could exceed 15 meters. Comparing these fossils helps scientists understand the diversity of the Mosasauridae family and how they dominated the oceans for nearly 20 million years before going extinct. The study of Mosasaurus is still ongoing. Every year, new discoveries, from teeth, bones, to traces of soft tissue, continue to provide more data. And although Mosasaurus vanished 66 million years ago, researching it always feels like studying an immortal being, a creature that once ruled the ocean, buried in stone for millions of years, and only recently awakened by us. This is not just the story of an ancient creature. It is the story of how humans uncover truth through layers of time, and how a forgotten fossilized jaw opened the mystery of an entire kingdom beneath the deep sea.